This is a very famous poem in Bengali by Rabindra Tagore. Adhivate Shoto Bosho Pore. A hundred years from now. A hundred years from now, who could you be reading my poem curiously? A hundred years from now. How can I transmit to you who are so far away a bit of the joy I feel this day? At this new spring dawn, the beauty of flowers this day, of songbirds that keep chirping away, of the crimson glow of the setting sun. How can I lay them all with my love and hope you will make them your own a hundred years from now? However, if you keep your southern door at her, sit by your window and look afar, view the horizon stretch endlessly, and imagine the possibility that one day, a hundred years from now, excitement from some heaven above could flow, could strike your inmost heart and make it glow, that on a bright spring day, when you were feeling restless and carefree, suddenly, they could blow with the southern breeze, impatient and eager to please, flying on restless wings, full of pollen and the scent of flowers, and of what youth desires, an impulse from me that could make your soul sway, at a time a hundred years away. A soul carried away by the tunes, overwhelmed by the flowers on display, had then burst into poetry lovingly a hundred years from now. A hundred years from now, who will that new poet be, singing in your festivals merrily? I send him my spring greetings, hoping he will make them his own. Let my spring song, song resound in your spring day, for a while let my tunes stay. In the fluttering of your soul, the humming of bees, and murmuring in leaves, a hundred years from now. I'd like to read another small poem, but this is a song uh, which I particularly like. Ache Dukko, Ache It doesn't have a title. Uh, the, the first line. There's sorrow, death too, separation spans called as well. Yet there is peace and joy, beyond the mortal, the eternal dwells. In souls, life flows, the moon, stars, and sun shine on. Spring lights up gardens and groves in varied hues. Waves melt with each other and then crest again. Even as some flowers wither in others but form. There's no ultimate loss, no end, no scars that forever remain. In the universe's wholeness, thus, the mind craves its place. Thank you.